Hello, and welcome to the continuation of the storyline, Original Sin. Let's continue this. Watu is still keeping watch on the moon from his outpost on the blue side. He senses a significant event is about to occur to him, and despite his fear, he meets his impending killer, and says, I see you. That causes his base to blow up. On Earth, Steve, Logan, Natasha, and Fury discuss various stakes they've had, with Natasha claiming that bear stakes are the greatest and Logan making fun of Steve's physique. The more jocular tone abruptly comes to an end as a terrified Thor telephones them. Even though Fury says he is retiring, Steve urges that Fury join him. When they get to the moon, they run across Thor, who tells them what he witnessed before they eventually find the Watcher's corpse. They understand that the murderer was a professional and that they stole a lot of his equipment. Even when Fury cautions them that the Watcher's murderer might be a hero, Steve still only wants the truth as he begs Fury to assist them. T'Challa encounters a mysterious figure in the Necropolis who provides him with varied information regarding potential leads. While the man knows that T'Challa can't investigate them all, he reveals three teams he's gathered to investigate those leads. Emma Frost and Scott Lang go with T'Challa to the center of the Earth, Moon Knight, the Winter Soldier and Gamora head into deep space and Doctor Strange and the Punisher investigate elsewhere. When Steve enters the room, Fury is in the moon giving someone his report. Fury is reassured that nobody is aware of his presence as Steve hands him what appears to be a bullet. When the Fantastic Four phone, matters worsen because a mindless one is wreaking havoc in New York and hitting the thing. Spider-Man appears to assist Ben. Spidey knows the creature and understands that telepathic abilities are not appropriate for them. The beast screams in pain as a result of what he has seen and done. Ben tries to reason with the monster after realizing he is using an ultimate nullifier. But it fails, and the beast uses it to shoot himself. Fury and the Avengers are now on the scene. Fury proclaims the battle zone a crime scene, and Steve requests that the nullifier be left alone until it is contained. A group of villains in another location find that not only are they developing, but so are the other mindless ones. One of them observes this, but he doesn't care because he's curious about what's inside the eye of the Watcher. 